Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain remains a music legend nearly 25 years after his death. Now, a brief interview with Cobain has surfaced online and it has a London connection. CTV's Sean Irvin now with the story of a London teacher who interviewed grunge rock's greatest artist. The work of Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain is arguably the anthem of Generation X. In September 1991, the band's profile was weeks away from exploding, but for the moment they remained a rising act. Enter London physics teacher Roberto LaRusso, who in 1991 was a radio host on Western's campus station. That's him in the white shirt fitting into the rising grunge music scene. Again, Nirvana wasn't huge at that point. So I hadn't heard any of the new record at that point. The hosting gig enabled the Russo to get an interview with Cobain in Toronto, three days before the band released its biggest album, Nevermind. No idea that they were gonna, uh, it was be such a meteoric rise uh, of, of the artist at the time. But nonetheless, for me, it was a big deal and I was remarkably nervous. Cobain sat down with the Russo backstage. A nine-minute interview began with some small talk and a request that Cobain might not have agreed to in the months that would follow. Can I get you to do a station ID? Sure. You're listening to Left Wing Radio. 94.7. 94.7. Radio Western. Radio Western, and this is Kurt from Nirvana. In the interview, Cobain seems matter-of-fact, talking about the band's transition to a big record label. LaRusso then talks about how much Nirvana was paid to sign. He learns his numbers are wrong and that Cobain is still struggling after paying all the lawyers and taxes. Left us with about $20,000 to buy equipment. I don't have a place to live at this moment. And while money and lots of it were on the immediate horizon for the band, LaRusso remembers Cobain seemed troubled, a fact the world would come to know as he struggled with drug and mental health that led to his untimely death in 1994. I was like, well, maybe, maybe what I saw was actually what I thought I saw, and that was maybe a sort of a deeper melancholy. By, by all metrics, I think he was an absolutely brilliant musician and 100% inspiring for me. So I, I get it why people are, are, are really interested in hearing some lost uh, audio of, you know, of his voice. You know, and people miss him, and for good reason, because he was a great artist. Sean Irvin, CTV News.